All right, let's check out the insane asylum. I've been wanting to explore this place since I found it. The door's blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. And I heard that this place. And I heard that this. Oh man, this thing was blown to bits. Okay, so we have mercenaries here defending this place for the Cabots, I'm presuming. But then you have gunners mixed in with raiders here. I'm not sure how the gunners are involved, unless they're maybe mercenaries hired by the raiders. But they're apparently after the serum stuff that halts aging or reverses aging or whatever. Somebody spent a lot on these marks. So what's the point of picking up that junk? Alright, so that raider just said someone spent a lot on these marks, probably referring to the Cabots. But, uh, yeah, the gunners don't come cheap either, I imagine. So I wonder who hired them, or are they here on their own looking for this serum also? So it's like a three way fight or so, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Either way, we're gonna have to uh, deal with them. This is my property. You are trespassing. Go get him. This dude's not defenseless. You are so win this, huh? Berserk Raider. I guess that's one I hopped up on the serum, right? Get that flamer away from this dude. He damn near has to get in the melee range to use it, and he's not really doing a lot with it, so. Almost there. There we go. Starting to have fun. Should have just run. It's possible some of those gunners could be mixed in with the people that the Cabots had hired Play to defend games, this place. Huh? Who, in turn, might actually be working with the raiders on the side type of thing. Also, maybe? Oh, I'm just sitting with this raider right behind me, though. I'll take that. This explosive shotgun is... Man, this thing is the shit. <laughs> it's awesome. I love this thing. The range on it now is just crazy because I, I don't think it really uh, does really anything with the damage based on distance. It used to be if you were more than five feet away from somebody, your shotgun pellets would just bounce off of them, basically. Now, uh, whatever they hit just blows up. Damn. Totally worth it. Actually, you know, they could nerf that. They could make it where after a certain distance, the uh, the pellets would lose their charge and not explode. They could they could fix that. Because it seems just a little OP. But then again, on the downside, if it's if you're too close, you blow yourself up. Because it is an AOE and it and it does uh, it does have friendly fire on it. So, I mean, there is that. Got to use it wisely. No, it doesn't matter. I, I like it. Damn, check him out, Quay. Wow, where'd that fire come from? Damn near everybody's dropping a combat rifle now. Pipe guns are a thing of the past, I believe. good on the building materials so far. This will work. Take all this. Could use a lot more wood. I think I'll start paying for shipments of wood. 
trying to remember which merchant sells that. Carlo, yeah, maybe? Good. Probably more than one. Or maybe it's random. Maybe it just shifts with their inventory. I guess, I guess maybe. I don't know. Whatever, get some shipments of wood. Um, seem to be doing pretty good on steel. Just about everywhere we go, we're finding steel and aluminum. If nothing else, you know, cans and I mean, hell, just about everything gives you steel. From scissors to screwdrivers to you name it. Nice. What's that? That looks like a cockroach. Didn't see that coming, did he? So we are obviously taking the long way around. Of course, the door that leads straight to wherever we're going was chained over or requires a key that we don't have or something. Good place to save. Is this where we were headed? I think so. Edward, come on, just leave How badly it. are you hurt? I'm not dead yet. But I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. I haven't seen anybody for quite a while. Well, there's our shortcut back out. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Uh, you know, what's this? Hold on a second. Make sure I grab everything else. Look at this. What? What? Oh. Oh, man. It's time to uh, get some merchants at my settlements. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I've been looking for. Yep. That one. Wouldn't mind the agility and luck one either, Go but uh, that charisma one especially. Maybe now I can make my mall at the drive-in. What exactly is going on here? I suppose it's time you knew. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength and unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to <sighs> set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, hey. Jack. What's up? Commonwealth Savings Bank of you McCready, too. open for business. All right, now the raiders were able to get into the computer and bypass the security and all that. All right, well, must be some pretty intelligent raiders. Or else they've got an inside scoop. I don't think Edward's a traitor, seeing as he almost died fighting against them. 
So something's going on here. All right, jury's still out. Uh, uh, this Jack Cabot dude, he, he seems straight up. And it sounds like what he's doing is kind of shady. It sounds like they're basically exploiting his father for whatever's in his blood that can create this serum thing, but his father got turned loony by this artifact thingy. And uh, it's either kill him and be done with the serum and lose their father also, or keep him around. And I think... Jack Cabot's justification is that at some point he might find a cure for his father and along the way keep his life going using the serum so that he can continue his research to find a way to cure his father. I think that's his justification and it may really just be that simple. Uh, it, initially, you know, things seemed a little off, a little secretive at the Cabot house for, for reasons, but you know, they're living a pre-war lifestyle in a post-war world. And have kept that world out, and so you've got to give it to them. And they're spoiled to that lifestyle. Uh, the daughter, especially, you know, the, well, the sister, you know, Jack Cabot's sister, she just gets bored and goes off on flings and stuff and goes out to adventure and doesn't see that that could uh, end really, really, really badly for her. But, uh, well, whatever. She also doesn't seem like the type that could actually learn a lesson either. Now, what's this? Twenty seventy two. Okay, this is before the war. Just some of the admissions, some of the patients and stuff. So this guy was a doctor, psychiatrist, slash scientist, something. None of these names mean anything to me. I don't know if they should. Hmm. Well, the Cabots were running. I just need to... Rest here a minute. I don't know what McReady's gonna do. Heal you okay? Him? I'll be all right. Maybe McReady isn't such a bad guy. Um. Yeah, apparently the Cabots were superintendents over this place. When they say they own this place, well, I don't know if they owned it. It's probably a state facility before the war, but uh, they've kept it going here. Wonder if they've locked up other people for observation or research or anything like that over the last couple hundred years. Oh, are you serious? Nice move, man. But they don't take much damage, do they? They really are resistant to physical damage. That serum is something else. <laughs> he drop kicked him. Wow. Level up. One more point to spend on our uh, merchant perks, right? I mean, I'm totally going to make some stores. Get some income flowing. I'll spend every bit of caps that I have. Mr. Legendary, I hope you drop something nice up there. Yeah, I'll spend every bit of caps I've got to invest in stores. I already, I already know what's up with that. Um, it's anything like Fallout 3. You go ahead and invest everything you've got in the Wasteland merchants. Every single one of them. And it would uh, greatly increase the number of caps they had to spend. And so when you started collecting the, the much more valuable gear, you actually had people that could afford to buy it. You know, you get four or five plasma rifles in your inventory. A lot of times you could uh, rake in all of a merchant's caps just off that alone. Not to mention other stuff that you might try to sell off. And in here, um, money seems to be more relevant. There's more things to buy, more to do with it. Ammo being uh, 
definitely a high cost item, especially on this difficulty, which I, I, I kind of like that. Ammo is going to be relevant. Oh, well, just as long as I'm playing, you know. So that's kind of cool. So finding some way. Ah, that's on you, buddy. Better you than me. Um, find some way to kind of buffer that a little bit, compensate for the uh, for the cap loss in buying bullets, get some uh, merchants going, and get some income flowing. And then once they pay for themselves, it's all just gravy after that. That's the thing. Okay, so fine. You know, you've got a thousand, two thousand, five thousand cap investment or whatever in a particular kind of store. Well, it may take a minute for it to pay itself off, but then once it does, everything after that is profit. So start, you know, start getting uh, those settlements everywhere. I'll tell you what, I have a lot of weapons and armor and gear in a lot of these workbenches. At just about every one of my settlements, I've probably got anywhere from 10 to 100 weapons and just random junk and stuff that I could sell. So setting up a merchant, I imagine, immediately creates a, uh, a source of caps, someone to sell stuff to. And always have a merchant available at every settlement to sell my own stuff to, that sounds like a, a, a wonderful thing in and of itself. Poor Carl is going to be almost out of business. I've been her best customer up to this point. <laughs> Once I get some other merchants under my belt, I won't be looking for her every time I need to uh, pawn off a few extra guns, you know. We never used this wing. Nobody's been in here for decades. There's no telling what we'll run into. Okay, that that's another thing that's weird. Okay, the raiders were able to get into your security here. Uh, damn near bypass the elevator and all that other stuff, and now they've found a wing that y you don't even use, that you don't really even know about. I mean, you know it's there, but you don't even know what's in there, but the raiders do. So, there's 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 an insider. I I, I smell a, a snitch, a traitor in this, or something. Something's going on. You get what I'm saying? It's, yeah. They... The, the things you overhear people say and the stuff that you see Utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. usually will add up to give you the whole story. These, the, uh, Bethesda games are awesome about that. The, the, uh, Bioware games too, same way. If you if you pay attention, you'll, uh, you'll get all the little clues to give you the whole picture. A lot of times you'll find out that people are just blowing smoke up your ass too. They're just full of crap. In the middle of doing a quest, someone's telling you one thing and you're seeing a complete other thing. If you keep your eyes open and stuff, it's awesome. It's like intrigue, you know? Oh man, I love these games. I really, really do. Oh, he, he flipped him. <laughs> Torch his ass, that's what you do. Duck and cover when he threw a grenade. It was funny. It's the name of the uh, the old skill magazines for explosives. Was duck and cover. Awesome. Just another little reference there. Oops. I think that bounced off the back of his head. sound traps they have, but that's not creepy. Stop it. Nice. <laughs> the blocks were <laughs> spelled F-U. Bobble, yeah, that's. I don't really care what happens after this. I'm just all I'm thinking about is my settlements now. I'm not lying. Let's just get through this. Yeah, okay. Um, your dad and whatever and uh huh. Yeah, do this, don't do that. Okay. Uh, I gotta go. See ya. <laughs> 
Problem is, I don't think at my drive-in, I think I've got plenty of steel. I don't think I have any wood there still. Unless some of my scavengers have gone and collected some random stuff, but I, nothing to really work with. What I'm looking forward to, oh man, you're talking about, oh jeez. How many different foundations are going to be required to build that thing? I think 16, 16 probably 24 shack foundations and then build up from there. Probably the equivalent of about 48, 96 houses, give or take, you know. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a lot of material. I'm going to need what, a thousand plus of each thing. I don't know how much uh, wood you get in a shipment. I know it's pretty expensive. It's like a thousand, two thousand caps or something like that. Maybe that kind of money just isn't even going to be an issue. Once I get some merch. I guess I had to build a few merchant stands if I can. And just have them set up and just have them working. And then uh, as I get money, start um, buying building materials. Plastic, asbestos, even circuitry, even oil and stuff. It hasn't been that big of an issue. Um, I've had that stuff. Even if I run out of one set of them, I usually got a bunch of it at another. From collecting everything from oil cans to stuff from uh, turrets and things. You know, stuff like that. It hasn't been an issue, but uh, basic steel and wood, wood especially, that has been an issue. So that is one resource probably worth buying. All right, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Okay, so looking ahead, after I get done with whatever we're doing here, assuming this is the end of the matter, once we deal with this dude's dad, um, I'll head back to the drive-in. We'll drop off whatever materials we can find here. Now I'm really keeping my eyes out for chessboards and pencils and anything else that gives you wood. Paintbrushes and who knows what. Well, I think paintbrushes give you wood. Anyway, whatever. What's the point of picking up that junk? Um, yeah, so we can build stuff. I'll make it nice and quick. You could trust me. Yeah, you know McCready building things, not destroying everything, but building stuff too, you know? Oh, Never mind. I know you're here. I'll find you. But so we'll go we'll go back there with our stuff, see what I can what I'm working with. Might need to get some cement too. No sign of them now. I actually, I almost had the floor plan for the mall kind of laid out in my head. At least I have an idea of what I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to have all the copper and all the stuff to set up all the lighting that I would like to have. I'd like to eventually maybe create like, you know, a light board or a sign out front. Mall of the Americas or something. I don't know what we'll call it. Oh, we got a legendary. Take that. Look at the range on this thing. That is... So badass. We don't have time for ah! well, Shut up. Come on. Berserk that. Yeah, this place doesn't look too bad. Where was that legendary raider? I want whatever he dropped. Oh man, after the bombs fell, nobody was left to care for these people. They just starved to death in their solitary cages. Oh man. I didn't want to think about that. That is messed up. This is... Yes. That'd be a horrible way to go. Everybody knows that. Help me. I'm coming to see what that was. So, if you're like a ghost or or whatever, just leave me alone. <laughs> if you're like a ghost or um nothing. <laughs> it sure as hell looks that way. Fishing in the toilet. 
Hoping for some kind of food because you're starving to death. That, yeah, that's just. Everything's bad. starting to sound like footsteps. Well, if I was into energy weapons, I gotta say I would have found a lot of really cool legendary energy stuff so far. What was it was a paladin dance gave gave me a really good laser rifle too. I think it was it was just bonus damage, no downside, no nothing like that, just bonus damage. Oh, there's holes into this cell from the ones down there. Oh, I didn't even see that. Gotcha. You sure you saw something? Not. Getting paranoid. There ain't nothing here. Creepy cluster of mannequins. I'm coming to see what that was. So I'm coming to see what that was. Like ghost. So whatever. Nice. Like, just leave me alone. Ghost or, or whatever. Just leave me alone. That's what he said. Just noise. Just noise. What Got a bunch of Des fans in here. Alright, so thanks for dropping down one more time. So we'll get to the basement eventually, right? The jet will make you jittery. Where do you assholes keep coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, girly. It was all hell. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Where do you assholes keep coming from? How many of you do I have to kill? Another technical document. Awesome. Junk. You might want to skip this. Greedy, just really? Just shut up. How about that? Find anything useful on him? What's this? Security door unlocked. Okay. Unlocked already, whatever that went to. Start dropping stuff here pretty soon. That's cool. Figure it out later. Let's go. Going down. All right. So the raiders, who wouldn't know anything about this facility, managed to get through all that and find their way down here, huh? All right. Past security and computers and hacking stuff and all kinds of things. Okay. Pretty impressive for a group of people who, <clears throat> well, aren't known to be overly road. intelligent for the most part. Neighbor was starting to wear out its welcome. Basement. All right, so we have epic boss battle coming up or something. Nice. Kill 
everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. See, it's hard not to wonder if this dude's got his own little hidden agenda. He's done his own share of lying and... Like, I don't know, it's just, who's the bad guy type of thing? Is it really this Lorenzo or is it this uh, Jack Cabot dude? Or is this one of those gray area type things or whatever? So far from what I understand, it's the mother who's, well, it was initially her first idea to start exploiting the husband for his ability to produce a serum. It allows them all to stay young and all that stuff. So I'm guessing this Lorenzo dude will never age. But if he's not a ghoul, got it. Then he's got something already within his own blood that makes him well, almost immortal. I mean, well, he can probably die, but well, actually, it's apparently the Something about his blood and the serum he creates makes him almost bulletproof too, so... It's like some superhero type stuff. Those idiots are trying to shut down the Abremelin! It's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, How would they Jack. know that? It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way <laughs> down the hallway. Quickly now. That's just a little symbol on that. Shut down the containment field. That's He's got the Raiders. Counterclockwise. He's mind controlling them. Wow. Okay. So he literally That's right. telepathically shut down the containment field in order to led these Raiders down here. That's how they were able to do all this stuff. He's been walking them through all of this. This Lorenzo guy. Okay. He's been luring these Raiders here to let him out. Oh, that's okay. Capable of stopping you when he gets in here. Apparently, even the simplest task was beyond your capabilities. That's it. I can feel my strength returning. Now, I will finally be free. Stop the Raiders from freeing. Okay. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of data radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door. Okay, I, I think I see the moral dilemma here. All right. Do you kill a man? Because if you let him escape, you have a man who's able to telepathically control people to have them do what he wants and stuff like that. And not only that, he has superpowers on top of all that other stuff and whatever. Do the right thing. Let me out of here. Right. That's what we're supposed to think. It, under all circumstances, ever killing anybody is the wrong thing, which is seems like the Jack modern train of thought today, which is why the world's being destroyed from within by people with those kind of sensitivities, not understanding that getting rid of one person can often save the quality of life and the lives of many others. Excellent. Um, killing one person to save another? Hmm. That's a matter of sacrifice. Killing a bad person to save anybody? It's always Hurry. the right thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, um... Juggling my inventory here a little bit. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to think. The one thing that overrides all this is the fact that he was mentally controlling those raiders to come down here and let him out. 
That was the thing, is he was manipulating their minds and stuff, and no one should have that power. And I'm going to assume after a couple hundred years of being locked up here, he's loony as a shithouse rat anyway. Do the right thing. So, uh... Let me out of here. Yeah, and he sounds too much like that preacher who I just wasted a while back. You know that you need to do this, yeah. Okay. Well, that, that pretty much made up my mind. Think back on everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is the crazy one? The crazy isn't the thing. I don't need a murderer getting out with the ability to manipulate sorry, people's Father. minds. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the article. Yeah. And upon me here forever if you had your way, puny worm. Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? Yeah, he had a power god complex thing going on, and his powers had grown to the point where he could telepathically send his thoughts out to control people. So that's why the uh, raiders were hovering around here, and he was even basically guiding them to find the serum. Like, the raiders would even know what to look for in a serum, right? In the first place. But uh, he let them know to use that to become strong enough to get past the guards to get in here to let him out. So whatever it cost, all the people that died just in his attempt to free himself so that he could get out and, what, uh, conquer the world or whatever... I, I don't know. doesn't really even matter. But yeah, we probably just kept a whole bunch of people from dying. Problem is, this artifact thing... Well, now that Lorenzo's dead, what do you do with that? I couldn't pick it up off of his body. Excuse me. We didn't have any other choice, did we? What would he have done if he'd gotten free? Oh, he would have killed both of us. And then the rest of my family. And that would only have been the beginning. His crimes back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here. Rather than on death row. The world now. It's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No. I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. What now? I need to bury my father and shut down this place. I won't be back here again. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. You don't need me anymore. No. Without Parsons to run, I don't think I'll need such an extensive staff. Saving your family has got to be worth more than that. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Just don't put the, the artifact on. <laughs> Just don't do that. I wonder what that artifact is. I still think it has something to do with that whole Dunwich thing or something. But it certainly empowers its wearer and makes them damn near invincible and corrupts their mind and has them... Uh, uh. Well, his father apparently became homicidal and they were forced to lock him up, which of course made it harder to study the artifact because you really couldn't get anywhere near him. So he spent a couple hundred years um, serving, well, his father in a sense and using the serum, like I say, their justification probably for using the serum in the first place was to find a way to cure his father. To extend his life so he could continue the research, because who, who else can you trust with that? So, I mean, I kind of get that. I'm just saying. Um, the, apparently their father was a dead man anyway. Once he put that artifact on his head, he'd become uh, uh, something else. And so it finally grew out of control, and he had to deal with it, and he did it. And that was the responsible thing to do. And apparently it did hurt him to do so. Hey, he's going to go bury his father. He's going to honor him. I mean, those aren't the actions of somebody who's just looking to get rid of him or whatever. So uh, I, I think we did the right thing in a really messed up situation. All right. Well, 
Let me go ahead and increase my carry weight just a little bit so I can tote all this stuff back to the drive and I'm going to go drop stuff off and take a look around and kind of oh, draw a rough blueprint in the ground of what I'd like to do with my my shopping center and to build it around the water hole there and uh, we'll turn this into a uh, well marketplace basically sounds good to me I already have the housing and everything in place I just need to set up some stalls and stuff but uh, that's going to be a while it's not something I can do immediately we also got to level up and put some points into the merchant perk Alright, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click that button up top. For the rest of this Let's Play, click the image in the middle. It should send you straight to the playlist. I will catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.